What do the crystal beings look like? And what message do they have for us all right now? Stay tuned and find out the answers to these questions. Hello and welcome to Embrace the Mystery, channeled artwork by me, Selma Denise. In this video, I'm channeling a spirit portrait of a guide in the form of a channeled charcoal sketch. I always begin in meditation, contacting source, and asking for spirit to step forward for a portrait or an artwork. The spirit that arrives usually has a message for the recipient, and I also ask for a message for everyone watching. I have been building a relationship with the crystal beings for a few years now. Today I asked, what do the crystal beings look like, and what message do they have to assist us all right now? This was all quite surprising. Having worked with the crystal beings for almost four years, I did not expect a human-like portrait. Uh, but that is exactly what has arrived. I noticed that this being uh, feels very androgynous, neither male nor female. And there is a, a top knot at the top of the head. And the feeling is uh, one of wisdom, but there's this, um, this feeling of uh, knowing and gentleness about this being. As I am working in the uh, features, I am asking all kinds of questions. I'm so curious because I was not expecting a human-like face to show up. So I did ask, um, again, why do you look this way? And this being said, well, we are all crystal beings. Crystalline is in our blood. We are all crystalline. You could have drawn yourself. That was very surprising. So I asked what the name uh, they wanted to be called, and they said Jingping. At first I thought it was kind of Chinese with the top knot and everything. It kind of seemed to match. But then he, uh, I was drawn to put this. It's not really a tattoo in the center of the head. It's, it, was, it felt like it was part of the skin and um, kind of raised um, kind of like a cartilage in a nose or something like that that you might feel. Um, so I also asked what, uh, why this particular representation for the crystal beings coming forward. And this being said that <clears throat> they are a shamanic race that recognizes the power of elements on their planet and they have had a strong connection with crystal beings, uh, much as I do. And I asked how we may best recognize these elements in this now moment to bring honor to them. And then uh, this person, the spirit, said, allow yourself to be in nature, to slow down enough to notice something, anything that catches your attention, and that you could make small offerings, but just noticing the elements is an honor. So the um, being was actually very specific about messages and um, there were messages for me, but for everyone, the message that I really wish to share um, that they came, they brought through was basically do not be fooled into believing that the ordinary is not extraordinary. Spirit will always come forward in a way that you can relate to. And that is important to remember whether you are surprised or not by what arrives. I did ask if there was anything else that this being wished to share um, out of curiosity. 
And they said that everyone will benefit greatly from finding a way to be in gratitude for the water, the air, the fire, and the earth. The air you breathe is a good place to start. Try to imagine what it would be like without air. And gratitude begets a sacredness to your every action. Appreciate the water you drink and wash with. Give thanks for the fire that beats your heart. Your body is so precious. Love it no matter what. Do not let the distractions of today deter you from gratitude for the elements. So thank you, Jigping. You have given much to ponder, and we appreciate you coming forward now with your wisdom. So thank you for watching this video. Please give it the all-important thumbs up. And for more messages and surprising artworks in your life, please click the subscribe button. There will be more artwork for and from the crystal beings coming. And until next time, embrace the mystery.